Coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Anisia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. The rehabilitation of the Forestier Road is now complete. Yesterday, Parliamentary Representative for Castries Southeast, Honorable Guy Joseph, along with officials from the Ministry of Infrastructure, held the official road opening ceremony, which marks the completion of this vital community road. The road rehabilitation project was implemented by local construction firm Skelly's Construction and employed a significant number of persons from the community. The project included the construction of new drains, retaining walls, culverts, the erection of traffic signs, road markings for traffic safety, and the total resurfacing of the road. Prime Minister of St. Lucia, Hon. Alan Chastney, noted that in the next few days, the residents of the new development in Soufre will see the commencement of the long-awaited community road rehabilitation. The District 1 Education Office, in collaboration with the Office of the Parliamentary Representative for Babono, hosted the Second Place Success Award Ceremony of the Bogus Primary School for the year 2019. The award ceremony recognizes the achievements of the four students, namely Zavi John, Kirapa Duquenzi, Isaiah Louis, and Adora Abraham, whose hard work placed the school second on the island in the 2019 Common Entrance Examinations. Education Officer for District 1, Cyrus Sipal, noted that the students' performance is in keeping with the district's motto, changing mindsets and working smart to ensure all learners succeed. The award ceremony took place on Friday, February 28, 2020 at the Bogus Primary Schoolyard. The Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, ECCB, in partnership with the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, OECS Commission, and the World Bank welcomed a wide network of regional social partners to the fourth Growth and Resilience Dialogue earlier this month. The dialogue was held in St. Kitts and Nevis under the theme Regional Transformation Through Innovation. The one-day event featured expert panelists from the Eastern Caribbean Currency Unions, ECCU, member governments, multilateral institutions, civil society, churches, youth and the private sector and sought to devise concrete actions for addressing constraints to growth, competitiveness and employment. The ECCB, OECS Commission and the World Bank have also partnered to launch a major digital transformation initiative within the region. The forum is held annually at the ECCB headquarters and forms a critical part of the growth agenda of the ECCB and its strategic partners, the CDB and the OECS Commission. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.